Okay, my fellow YouTubers, this is my second video on my free energy device. A question has arisen as to what would happen with the device if I were to add a constant load into the system. So it took me a few minutes to figure out what to do in fun to put a, a load on here. And what I've done, if I zoom in here, I can show you. I've created this mass here. The mass is almost about the same weight as the mass here that's going to rotate. In addition, this gear here has a motor in it that will draw the mass down. So we'll see what happens here. First of all, let me engage this motor and show you what will happen. This motor as you can see here is set for the maximum of 600 RPM and we're going to use a strength of 10 here on this side and when we engage this motor you'll be able to see what happens let's engage it now we'll see that it pulled the mass down in one direction which put tension on this spring here now what we'll do is we'll take a look at what this motor is going to do. This motor again is set for the maximum of 600 but we have a strength of 1. So let's engage the motor and again see what happens. Okay and as you can see the mass is beginning to turn or rotate As it gains momentum, we'll see that the mass here is just now beginning to move. And I'll zoom in on the gears and we'll see what's going on there. It's actually pulling that motorized gear back in the other direction, even though it's set on 10. Whereas the motor spinning the mass up here is set on one and you can see what's happening with the spring here so in fact it still does work even with a constant load pulling the mass in this mass in one direction the rotating mass still has no problem continuing to work pulling this mass up and down in one direction. The spring is necessary, by the way, in order to keep this uh, bar, or fulcrum if you will, from flying all over the place. So there it is. It's still working. Let's just do this very quick. Let's change the settings on this motor and see what happens. We'll change, we'll make this even stronger. So you can see the settings here. how it appears. Look at how this spring has stretched and yet and still the motor is continuing to pull this gear even in the other direction. And if I loosen the tension on that motor it should come back up. Yep. And the motor, the pump will still do a lot of work. So there it is. My invention certainly works. And according to the energy rate 
going into this motor on this side. It works even when there's far greater load on this side. It's still moving it. actually pulling this motor with much greater strength in the other direction. So there it is. Have fun!